and just occasionally you'll be working on something embedded and you won't have the standard library. So the use STD that we used in the greeter program is not available. If you want to make a system call, you use the syscall and interact directly with the um, environment provided by the chip designer. For example, if you're compiling to an Arduino, you've probably only got about a megabyte or two of memory to use. And unfortunately, if you use the standard library, your binary is going to be about a megabyte. Um, it's statically linked. Rust links everything into your exe file by default. Um, the reason it does that is that you only need to sh ship your executable file. You don't need to ship all the dependencies as well. Um, but one megabyte is huge if you're working in the embedded space. So if you, you can at any time add the no STD indicator to your project, um, this then requires you to do syscalls the hard way. Rust still gives you some safety help, but a little less. The good news is that you can now make Hello World 700 bytes long. The bad news is that that Hello World is now platform specific and won't be the same code unless they've implemented the same syscall library on another system. But Rust can go as low level as you want it to or as high level as you want it to. So I always put this upside, it's really small. Downside, you just lost 90% of the content of most of the books on Rust.